So I might be late to the party, but the other day I was watching somebody code and I noticed that when they press save, they were able to automatically format their code to a specific standard. Now I'm pretty well aware of ESLint and what I've been usually doing is I put ESLint as part of my pre-commit or pre-push hook. So whenever before you commit or push, it will automatically format your code or let you know about it before you can push. So everybody should have the same coding format standard in the team's code base. Now, I don't want to do it every time when I push or commit. I want to do it immediately. So I saw this guy where he was coding and then when he pressed save, all of this code formatted automatically. So I wonder how that's done. So I did some research and today I want to show you how you can do this. So what's, let's have a very simple repo here with a simple JavaScript and you have a package JSON, very standard empty. So I think what we need to do first is to install ESLint globally. So you can do npm install eslint-g. So I already did that. You, after you do that, you should have a eslint binary somewhere. So once you have this installed, you need to get the eslint plugin extension for VS Code. So this is specifically for ES Code, but for whatever the code editor you use, there may be a com equivalent uh, extension for it. So I'm just using this ESLint by Dirk Balmer, and this extension is all I need to get everything done. So once you install that, you need to go to code, go to preferences, go to settings, and then search for unsafe. So you will find this setting called code action unsafe. When you find that, click on edit in JSON, and then here you need to add, well, I don't think you need this, but I have it just in case if I'm playing with the JavaScript code, but you need to add this setting here. So this is saying that whenever you press save, it will run the eslint command to lint your code and automatically fix them for you. So once you have that, you can close it and then we can start testing it out. Now, if, you, if I press save right now, nothing will happen because you're missing the eslint configuration file. So in order for you to lint your code, you need to tell it what do you want to lint. So ESLint allows you to pick uh, so many different styles that you would like to apply to your code base. So there are so many different rules that you can set. So I don't have time to try to turn on and off any of these. So I'm just going to use a popular one. So to set up an ESLint configuration, you can do ESLint dash dash init. So this will start the ESLint setup wizard. So here I want to check my syntax, find problems, and enforce the code style. So if I click on that, and then since I'm working with JavaScript modules, import exports, you can use CommonJS if you're working on the server side. So I'm just gonna do this for now. And for, for the frameworks, you know, like I typically I write in React, so I'm just gonna do React right now, even though this is not React code. And then do you use TypeScript? Not now. So where does your code run? It runs in the browser. And here's like, you can pick a, a pre-existing setting if you want. So I like to use a popular style guide, usually the Airbnb guide. I highly suggest you check out their repo to see what kind of settings they have. So I'm just gonna use Airbnb and I want the format to be in JavaScript format. So this will set the configuration file to be in .js format. But if you want it in .yaml or .json, you can do that as well. I'm gonna do it in JavaScript. And it will ask me, do I want to install all of these dependencies? I'm just going to say yes. So we'll have to give it a few seconds to install all the dependencies that it needs. So these dependencies are for the rule sets. They're not like any giant code file. They're just set of rules that we can use. So now you should see this new file called eslintrc.js. And here you see all of these settings are pre-written for you. And Right now it's using the, the React recommended plugin and then the Airbnb plugin. So all of the settings from these two plugins will be inherited to your project. So now if I go back here, so as you can see, this code is very messy. You know, all the, like there's no indentation. Uh, there's some random, let me just change that to like double quotes, like a lot of pretty messy code. So sometimes when you have people on the team, they may have different writing styles and you want to enforce that on the team. So let's say on this team, we only use single quotes. So how do you enforce that? When some people are in their bad habit, they might end up using this and then push the code to the repo. So now I want you to watch what happens. When I press save, 
as you can see right away everything's got fixed and everything got indented properly so now there should be no confusion about like what to use you know like the indentation process what to use the coding style like there will be no debates about it so now that's it uh, you know just press save and everything will be in line so I hope you find this video useful. Um, I have a link to this repo in the description below along with all the code base from all of my tutorials on this channel. So definitely take it out, check it out and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.